Ah, good morning. A continuation of Building Math Courage. My name is Dirk Horton. Lesson 6 is called Count Buys. These are where you're like, remember when you counted by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten? Well, we're going to learn to count by and practice count buys for numbers that are a lot bigger. So, join with me. Pl you need plenty of practice. And remember, you can stop your video at any time to get ready or think about the next answer. Okay, let's begin. All right, we're now going to count by eight. And again, you'll, you'll begin to see the way this works. I have a hint. Uh, this is sort of like adding uh, a running total. And I'm going to say, rather than add an 8, let's add 10 and subtract 2. All right. Let's begin. All right. If you look at that, if we take an 8 and we add 10, that's 18, minus 2 is 16. Let's try adding 8 to 16. That would be adding 10, which would be 26, and then taking away 2, which would be 24. Let's see how well you can do. Beautiful. And if you take a look at that, what we've got is counting by eights. That would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and 72, and finally 80. Now remember that multiplication issues, okay, or learning multiplication one of the best ways to think about it is it's just repeated addition. That's what we've been doing here. And the lessons in the future um, will also include division, which also can be facilitated by doing okay, count buys of the divisor. Well, let's do some more. Let's count by 11s. That's a fun one. Okay, and there we have it. And of course, adding 11s, the best thing to do is to add 10 and then add another one. Let's go. Add 10 and another one. Counting by 11s is fun because the pattern is very much like counting by 1s. Well, you probably got this by now. You can stop even probably adding, but it's, good, it's still good practice. Add 10 and then add one more. Okay, bravo. Remember that adding in your head or mental math is really an important skill. Let's try 12s now. Are you ready? And the hint here is to add 10 and then add 2. Ready? Let's begin. Add 10, that would be 34, plus 2. And let's see if you can count by 12s, thinking about it like this. Wow. 
Well done. We've been counting by 12s, and it would be 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, and 120. Let's count by 15s. And the hint here is, of course, to add 10 and 5. 15s are pretty easy, but let's go for it. All right. Add a 10, that's 40. Add 5, it's 45. So let's practice. Bravo. Well done. Remember, again, you can pause this if it's going too fast, but I'd like to provide as many possible lessons as I can. So let's go through a series of different numbers here and see how you can handle it. Let's go back to sevens. All right. They're just basically saying, hey, just add sevens. How good are you at that? Let's try it. You can kind of do your chunking again if you can chunk to 10. For instance, adding a 7 to 14, you should add a 6, which will make 20, and then one more. Okay, let's see a practice. Here's again another chance for chunking. What you want to do all right, is add two and then there's five left. All right, bravo, there you go. A few more of these. We're going to get to double digits a little bit, so let's see if we can make some interesting ones here. <clears throat> Remember, this, these spreadsheets are available. Uh, if you wish to find out more about them, you know, get to me on Math on Monday. Give me a, give me a hoot and we'll see what we can do. Uh, remembering that Excel plays on every, almost every single program, every single computer out there, both Macs and, and the PCs. Okay, let's begin. Add 20 plus 1, that's 41 plus 1 is 42. Add 20, then 1, that's 63. So let's see if you can continue. All right, let's do one more. Twenty-five is an important one because <clears throat> you'll see this happening a lot, and it's great to get this pattern down. Okay, let's go. Think of it as money. Sometimes it really helps. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's it's just it's a good way to practice your math. Practice it in your head. And <clears throat> this is actually much more productive than other kinds of flashcards. Anyway, have a good day.